our man Corny Adrian, live in Cincinnati. Let's get into it. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, man. Good to hear your voice, man. So uh, tell us a bit more about you, man. Like, how'd you get into this? Uh, well, you know, I've been doing music for about 24 years, uh, rap more specifically, and uh, I just gave my life to the Lord about five or six years ago and started doing Christian hip-hop. And I've also authored one book, self-published it. It's out on Amazon and digital outlets as well, called Assignments, Gifts, and Anointings. And that was pretty much basically what the song I'm Gonna Win is about. It's about how God gave us all gifts and, and talents and, and an assignment to fulfill. And so I kind of wanted to just um, focus that song based off the book and kind of intertwine them together. And so uh, now I have a new book coming out uh, this summer called uh, Spirit of Captivity and also a new album coming out, um, Gangster and the Christian. talks about street life, uh, transformation from the street life to Christianity to being an actual child of God. And that's pretty much everything going on right now with me. Wow, man, that's amazing. So when you say you got the book, is that um, did you go with a publishing company or was that self-published? Because I know a lot of people do that. I actually right self-published that, yeah. So. Wow, that's cool then, man. So you got, I didn't know you were writing books as well, so that's really dope. And um, the street one you're saying, is that part of your ex-life then? Were you, were you involved with the street culture? I actually was, yeah. I was a gang member uh, for a lot of years. I actually um, went to prison for about 10 years. Just recently released, actually, uh, December of 2016. Since then, I've just been trying to come home and uh, change the culture, uh, this, the message of Jesus Christ and his salvation. And um, just, just out there in the streets, man, trying to witness the people. And it's actually, you know, what the next song is about, I Got Angels, is God is with me wherever I go, you know. And I got angels protecting me, and I don't have to worry about none of the nonsense going on. I'm just trying to change the culture with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, man, that sounds dope. So when did you actually find your faith in Jesus? Was it in prison? Um, no, actually, I was raised in the church. Um, I was born again at 12 years old, um, but I got into the street life after that and started living a real crazy life. And once I got to prison, I came to the realization that my way isn't right. The way that the things that I'm trying to do aren't right, you know, and and uh, I just had to find an example, and I used my mother as an example, uh, a model Christian, a model believer, and how everything was going good for her and her success, and and I just, you know, that just kind of steered me toward God, and then I just began to change my heart and repent, and uh, started my journey there, probably around 2012. 2011 actually wow man that's amazing man so 10 years in prison i mean i'd imagine that like shaped you i mean that must have been pretty hard right to do that amount of time yeah yeah it was very um you know i have uh, four children and they had to watch them all almost grow up from prison uh still got two three three that are still underage um, one just turned 18 so yeah i had to watch them grow up from prison but you know god is good and he was there through it all and he made sure my kids came out on top. <laughs> yeah, man. And did you start writing music when you were still behind bars? Um, so I've been writing music since uh, I was about 11 years old, actually, writing songs. But starting writing, I started writing uh, more R&B and uh, well, really rhythm and praise, I, I like to call it. And just face music, I started writing that behind bars, yes. Wow. So, yeah, man, that's... Uh... That's a good testimony there, man. I mean, so what are you doing now then for in terms of ministry? Is it, is it just doing the music or are you actually actively getting out into the street or anything? Well, I'm actually uh, getting out there and uh, witnessing to uh, ex-gang members and street guys, drug dealers, uh, just doing some speaking engagements and uh, the music and trying to do some workshops that uh, go along with the book that I uh, just published, Assignments, Gifts, and Anointings. So, and what the, the book actually does, is it, it helps people to figure out what their gifts are and uh, what their calling is, because we all stumble and, and, and get off track when we're not focused on our gifts and our calling um, for the kingdom of God. And when you do that, you're trying to find provisions for, for your life. You're trying to find a source of income, and that's how guys get out here in the street, and, and they get 
in the, in the jam session because they're trying to find a source of income outside of the will of God, you know, and, and, and the way he designed things to operate. And so I just try to do a work, little workshops and ministry that way, showing guys who they really are in Christ. Yeah, man, that sounds dope, man. That's, it's good that you get into that. I mean, how have you found it on the streets and when you come up against gang members? Are they kind of, do you find it's quite a tough call to try and tell them about Jesus? Um, no, actually, because uh, we have, I have a lot of co- a lot of things in common um, as far as um, the culture, knowing what's going on, and so I just kind of ease my way into the conversation with uh, with current events and what's going on with them, and a lot of them respect me. I mean, I'm six foot six and about two fifty, so <laughs> I get a lot of respect that way, but. I want the respect to come because of my walk with Jesus and and not, you know, from that aspect. But yeah. I just, I do get a lot of respect that way. Yeah, I'd imagine you would. But, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. You want to represent Christ. But I guess, yeah. I mean, they, they're probably also looking up to you because you, I, I'm guessing that doing a 10-year stretch probably puts you, like, on the map in, in their eyes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Like, I've been where you've been, I've lived where you're living, uh, it's the wrong way, you know? And I just try to show them that and give them little examples uh, with their own lives, actually. I could ask them to think back to times that things aren't right and what's going on and and why things aren't right and what did they do to, you know, get themselves into those type of situations and just try to show them, like, what the Bible says about that how to navigate through that, you know. Yeah, man. All right, man. Well, tell us about um, tell us about your music, man. What's going on with this this project you put out called God Class? What's that all about? So, God Class is a term that I heard from a preacher. Um, he was teaching on Genesis chapter one, twenty eight and twenty nine, how we are made in the image of God and after His likeness, created in His image and after His likeness, and that's what God Class is about. It's about knowing who you are in Christ Jesus, knowing that you're called to operate the same way that Jesus did when he was a man, um, under under the, the the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that we are sons of God here in this earth. You know, um, 1 John chapter 3 says, now are we the sons of God. We have to know, that's a powerful revelation to, to realize that you were created like God, to operate like God inside of this earth realm, and, and, and that we're supposed to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and change the culture of the earth. You know what I mean? So we're, we're kind of like thermostats. You know, the rest of the world are thermometers. They just read what's going on around them, but we're supposed to be thermostats. We're supposed to change the temperature, change the environment, the culture. And so that's what God Class is all about. I just actually launched a clothing line on God, uh, uh, called God Class, and that'll be out real soon within the next few weeks. Nice one. All right, man, so how many tracks you got on God Class altogether? God Class has 12 tracks, uh, intro, three spoken word pieces, and an outro, and about six actual rap songs. Nice one. So you into your spoken word as well? Yes, I do. I do write spoken word and perform. That's cool, man. That's a, that's a, actually, that's coming like, there are a lot of people into that nowadays, but it's still good to see because I think it showcases like, you know what I mean? Something different from just rapping kind of thing. Yeah, you know, I actually never did any spoken word. Uh, I, I just recently started doing it within the last two years. <laughs> and I found out that I really enjoy it. Um, it's a good way to write and, and get everything I want to say out. Because rap, uh, when you're writing rap bars, it kind of limits you to what you can cram into there. Because, because you're trying to yeah. stay on beat and, and keep everything inside of the measure. With uh, spoken word, you can really just open, uh, preach a sermon, basically. 